Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask and Kate. Today we're going to talk about some cool tools that are currently available for character creation in Blender, which are currently available on Superhive. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Vertex Arcade has made the adjustable mannequin version 1.3 and this is an ultimate tool that would help you dynamically create 3D characters easily. By default, this is not an add-on, it is a blender file that allows you create the style of character that you want by adjusting the mannequin however you choose. And this comes with a drawable style tool which allows you to simply draw things like horns which are being controlled by geometry nodes and you can draw both tails and wings for your character. Interestingly, this also allows you dynamically control the proportions of your mannequin by simply using sliders and the rig, as you can simply slide for the head style, the shoulder, the neck, arms, breast, belly, hips, leg, and also muscle group and guidelines. And by default, this is more like an all-in-one project file that allows you to make that fantasy character that you want. So whether you're thinking about building a muscular male or an interesting feminine character, or possibly you want to build something that is based off fantasy, you can now do that. As the asset browser comes with draggable presets that you can use to fine tune things like the ears, and there's also the pose library that comes with a good number of poses, both for the full body pose and hand pose, making it easier for anyone that is thinking about making models or even making reference models that they can use to get their sculpt started or as a reference for their 3D character creation to get going with it. And this is currently looking good. And if you're looking for full 3D characters that you can pick up and start animating, then the Human Generator Ultimate is the tool that you have been looking for. The Ultimate Human Generator now comes with a good number of impressive looking stuff that would definitely make working inside of Blender an easy breeze, with adjustable sliders for muscle group, full body, and also various accessories for your characters, from hairstyle, clothing, skin textures, skin color, and so on, as this tool now impressively makes it super easy for you to create the character they are looking for with ease. And this version comes with a level of detail generator, which allows you to generate different levels of details for a simple character. There is also the facial performance tool, which makes it easier for you to now use the AR kit to actually read your characters, and the pose library just keeps expanding. And this tool from Oliver J Post is an amazing tool for anyone that is looking for a quick and easy human generator tool that they can use inside of Blender to start generating animatable characters without thinking about the modeling, the rigging, the texturing, or even the clothing, as this comes as an all-in-one pack that you can pick up and start creating with. Figaro is a fast base mesh character creation tool, and this is one nice tool for Blender that just allows you to simply use points to start making doodles for your character creation. Now, unlike what we have with the human generator that gives you a couple of interesting assets that you can work with alongside the full rig that you can use to rig your character, this is more like a tool that you can use to sketch out an idea for the character they're working with. And all this does is to simply use vertices and something that looks more like meatballs for you to be able to doodle the kind of character that you want. At the end of the day, you can convert this to solid objects and you can start using this to sculpt the character that you want. Something that is also pretty interesting is if you don't want to start making this by yourself, there are a couple of templates that are now available with this and you can start doodling or even sketching from there. And this is one cool tool that is currently available on Superhive, which I believe is pretty impressive. And if you're in the market looking for characters that you can just pick up and work with, then you might want to consider taking a look at Zurit by 3D. And these are semi-stylized, semi-realistic character packs that are currently available. All of these are fully rigged, so you can simply pick them up and start working with them. So for example, if you like to work with something like this, you notice that the textures have been done, comes in different file formats, and they are all fully rigged with nice topologies that you can work with. The same thing can also be said for Eat Happy, as Eat Happy also has a nice set of character packs that you can work with, but most of the characters that they have here are fully stylized ones. So if you're looking for stylized characters, there is a plethora of stylized characters that you can get. From the Eat Happy Studio, all the way to Lollipop characters, down to the folks at 3D, which are the original owners of the Zurich store, you would be able to find nice new character, and in this case, they actually come as bundles. It's also worth mentioning that for those that are looking for very realistic looking characters that they can also use as base meshes. We already talked about this one on the channel before, as Tashi has a good number of boot stylized and realistic 3D characters that you can work with. So if any of this interests you, you can simply go ahead and check it out. 
And for those thinking about character rigging, there's a good number of character rigging tools, which includes the Poopa Animate Pro. This uses AI to rig any character in any pose. And all you need to do is click a button and this is going to take care of all of that. It comes with various tools that you can work with. And at the same time, you can test out animations with this right inside of the tool. Blend Rig 6 is a very cool add-on as well, which I would definitely suggest you check out. And this has been used in various Blender open movies. And it is an interesting tool that you can simply just grab and work with if you're looking for a free tool that you can explore. AutoRig Pro is one nice tool that we've already talked about on the channel before. And this tool is pretty impressive for both modular rigging of various characters. And at the same time, it is worth mentioning that the new update now includes AI that has similar properties like what you've got with the Poopa Animate Pro. As with this, you can now guess markers for where joints needs to be placed. And this can be done for both full body and hand. And automatically, you can rig your character. The cool thing with this particular one is you can rig literally anything you've got in Blender. And for those that are thinking about muscle, the X muscle system is a nice tool that is currently available. And this is an advanced physics based tissue simulator that allows you to create different kinds of muscle systems inside of Blender. This is a very cool tool as well. And I would definitely suggest that you check it out. And if you've got complex models and you're just thinking about, you know, I would just like a tool that would take off the hard work and create joints for me, then the lazy bones is that tool as this just simply uses simulation to approximate the mesh of your character and generate joints based off that. It is one cool tool that I think a lot of creators would love, especially if you don't like placing joints in various parts of your character, you know, you just want something pretty easy. Then of course, these might just be it. And if hair simulation is a thing for you, then there is some very interesting character hair simulation tools that are currently available. The 3D hair brush from the folks at VFX Grace is by far one of the coolest tools to create different kinds of hair for your characters. So whether you're trying to create this for like human characters or animals, then of course you can go ahead and see this. This now comes to the preset library with 32 high quality hairstyle presets for both male and female characters that you can now explore. And at the same time, this comes with a ton of tool sets that you can use to style your hair and create some amazing looking stuff. Hairflow is another interesting tool and the idea behind this tool is for you to be able to simulate hair in Blender. So whether you're thinking about, you know, using a simple curve or something that you've generated via geometry nodes, this is amazing as this simply uses the simulation node that exists in Blender to simulate the hair for you. So if you're looking for a simple tool that you can use to just simulate any hair that you've made, whether you made them by hand using the brand new tools that exist in Blender, or maybe you just made them with geometry nodes, then this is an interesting tool that you might want to explore. Hairbrick version 7.0 is also another nice tool from Louisa. And this tool allows you to use the brand new hair curve system that exists in Blender to create different kinds of hair for your character. As this comes with layer tools that you can use for hair management, at the same time, you've also got some interesting parameters that you can use to tweak the properties of your hair and fine tune them to get exactly what you're going for. There are all very cool modifiers that also ships with these for the effect, the styling, and also the operation. So whether you're thinking about styling for your character, or maybe you just want to style for an asset that you already have, or potentially you like to use an instance to actually drive certain stuff, this is one nice tool for creating hair that is currently available. Of course, there's also some very cool ones like the Strand Kit, which is a library of hair that is currently available by Nino. And this is very nice. So for those who like to explore this, you can simply come through and check it out. They were also talked about the hair painter tool as well, which is super amazing. So we've also made a full video about this one. For those who like to explore and see how this works, this is a pretty interesting tool that simply uses procedural nodes to get things going. So this is it. So many things are currently available right now. And of course, for those who are looking for recopology tools or possibly you're looking for some amazing effect tools, or maybe you're looking for cloth simulation tools that you can work with and create amazing stuff inside of Blender for your characters, then I'm going to link all of these in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.